These 50 tips will instantly make you better at heavy. Not many people know that you can knock the cash out box over by punching at the very top of it, waiting for it to sway back towards you, and then punching it again over and over again until it finally falls over. And this might seem like a useless piece of information, but it actually brings me to the next tip. You can hide C4 right under where the cash out falls, and when an enemy starts stealing it, all you need to do is activate it and get a free kill. They'll never see it coming. Generally speaking, you always want to have C4s on the cash out to blow up if the enemy starts capping it. Do keep in mind though that once this tip gets a lot more common many players will start baiting the cap so if that starts happening you can just wait for them to commit for a few seconds give them that false sense of confidence before blowing them up any shotguns including the sa1216 will have no difference in their spread or accuracy whether you aim down sights or not so just keep hip firing with it if you jump at the end of a charge you will perform a slam which will give you some extra damage you should always play inside or behind the dome and if an enemy decides to push your dome shield and take the fight to you start playing the edges of of the dome shield instead to get the most out of it. Place mines on statues. That's because if somebody gets revived, they might just blow up. Or at the very least, the mines might end up slowing down their teammates because they want to be careful or even clear them off before going for that revive. Now, obviously, they can just get around this by reviving their teammate farther away from the statue, but most players don't know the mine range that well just yet. Always remember you can shoot through the dome shield while your enemies can't. If you're going for a cash out steal and all of your teammates are left standing, the best order to do so is by dropping the dome shield on the point, holding your miss shield up, and then standing on top of your teammate as they go for a steal while turning your shield towards any enemies that might be shooting at you. If you, for whatever reason, like if your teammates are terrible, have to go for the steal on your own, make sure to drop the dome shield in a way where the dome cuts off the line of sight between you and any potential C4 or other explosive utility placed on the cash out. And that's because if the enemy does blow this utility up, it will damage the shield instead of you. There's currently a glitch where you can spam the SA-1216 without needing to cock the gun. In order to pull this off, shoot three bullets, start a reload, and immediately swap between a gadget and back. A good use of the dome shield is to drop it right on top of the enemy team when jumping in or dropping onto them from a height to cut off their line of sight as you drop down and then give you an advantage once you land. You can also drop the dome on the ground when you go for a duel or a team fight, even if you are on your own, as this will raise your effective health with 300, which should let you win every duel. You can actually hold the mesh shield when taking a zipline. This will keep you and your teammates safe if an enemy is waiting for you on the other side. And that's because it counts as a one-handed ability, much like hitting the like button on this video. You can use explosive mines as impromptu breaching charges, all you have to do is stack them on top of each other and then blowing one up by shooting it. The barricade is the perfect height to keep most of your body other than your head covered when you are standing up as a heavy. You can set it up and just stand behind it to get something called a head glitch mid-fight. You can make towers and climb straight up vertically with the goo gun. Just look under you, jump and shoot the goo. And then just rinse and repeat until you hit the goo limit and it crumbles under your own weight. Now timing it is crucial as if you shoot the goo or jump at the wrong time it will either break off or you will bounce off of it. If you use the flamethrower don't aim where your enemy are and instead aim where they are about to be. If you place mines on the orange pipe on elevators, you will get completely free kills once the elevators pass through them with enemies on top of them. While it can secure your kills, due to its long cooldown, you should consider keeping the RPG until you see your enemies clustered up for a fight winning amount of damage in one shot or a light on its own. That being said, a good wombo combo is waiting for your light player to hit a big glitch grenade and then following it up with an RPG once their defenses are down. If a sledgehammer heavy jumps in your face and forces a fight, try to keep your head cool and remember that the SA-1216 deals significantly more damage. I mean, you can easily kill a heavy with one well-placed burst. If you're playing with the mesh shield, make sure to communicate when you're going to hold that shield up, when you're gonna take it down, or even when it's gonna break. It can also help to call something like play my shield, if you're playing forward or backward, or if you're just moving in general. For some reason, not many notice, but you can hold your primary fire key with the SA-1216 to have it fire in full auto. If an enemy goes for a full commit on you, a good way to counter them is by bringing your shield up and forcing them to reposition, sink all of their bullets, into your shield or to reload. As soon as they stop shooting, you get your opening to lower your shield and kill them. You can place the explosive mine on the very top of a standing cash out to get a free kill if somebody accidentally gets a little bit too close. At the time being, one of the strongest strategies for heavy will be the nuke. Place one or two C4s on a barrel or prop and just throw it at an enemy and then activate it when you're close enough to instantly deal upwards of 400 damage against one or many targets. I will always recommend the green barrel and if you put it on the red canister, just place it on the bottom end of it. You can deploy a mine over longer ranges by slapping a mine on top of a throwable prop and then tossing it. As the prop lands on the ground, it will break, but it will leave the mine on a new position instead. If you get hard pushed by a flamethrower heavy, remember that just like with the sledgehammer, your SA-1216 will always outlast.
without damage it. Building off of that, just don't use the M60, it's arguably the worst weapon for heavy in the whole game. The sledgehammer travels in a path, rather than just doing damage straight in front of you. This means that you can have the sledgehammer deal damage sooner by turning your view away from the enemy. Since spamming the hammer goes left, right, left, right, this means that you ideally will want to look to the right, the left, the right, and then the left again to have the damage register as soon as possible. Despite its high health, the barricade will go down in one explosion. It's faster and safer to deploy a dome shield by using an underhand throw than an ordinary throw. If you activate the charge and slam midair, this will make you perform an air slam. The higher up you are when you activate it, the more damage it will do. The SA-1216 does not do headshots, so just aim for center of mass to get the higher amount of damage per shot. Building off of that when using the SA-1216, try to play around cover and use that cover to shorten the distance between you and your enemies. You really only want to fight them once you're close enough to burst them down. With that in mind, a general rule of thumb is that heavies will be at their strongest while indoors, as they can get close to their enemies while at the same time the enemies don't really have that much space to maneuver around. Playing inside of a building nearby a point is usually a valuable strat as you can't get flanked or shot from a distance as easily. You can use the goo gun to create stairs, run along walls, or cross large gaps. You can also shoot the goo gun at a turret to destroy it or just block its line of sight to you. If you're being chased by an enemy or know that they're going to come through a certain way, it can be worth it to set up some C4s and just blow them up if they get close enough. Despite all the tips, while I don't recommend using the charge and slam, you can keep hitting the same person with the same charge by adjusting your trajectory and running at them over and over again. You can also use the charge as a quick way to break open a wall in front of you, especially if somebody tries to sneak through these pesky small vent holes. Remember that you can cancel the charge at any time by hitting the jump key. You can shoot the goo gun towards enemies that are holding channeling actions like stealing the cash out or reviving. You might end up pushing them away from the thing you're channeling or even break their line of sight to it, which will cancel their channel. One of your biggest counters as a heavy will be the glitch grenade. It shuts down all of your abilities, including shields, but even worse, it shuts down the abilities of your teammates, preventing them from helping you out. If there is a glitch grenade and you have no choice but to get hit by it, toss your dome shield on top of it as it will only disable the shield and not you or even your teammates. You can still slide and even climb as you hold up the mesh shield. This means that you can hold your shield up and actually slide for a jump pad to go even farther forward. When taking all in fights with the auto shotty, once you have fired four shots, it might be a good idea to hold up your shield until it is safe to cock it and be able to fire four more. I did mention the exploit earlier in this video, but I'm keeping this tip in for the inevitable point in time when it's actually going to be fixed. If you run the charge, a good way to use it is booping an enemy and then swapping back to your primary weapon, ideally the auto shotty, to get a free kill as they are very easy to track as they're being booped backwards midair. Remember that there is no kill that's more free than a heavy away from his team holding his mesh shield up. Make sure that you stay close enough to your team where they can help you out at any time. You can place the explosive mine right at the end of a closed door, as you can't really see it or most players just don't pay attention as they're just gonna run straight through the first door they see. Other than the reload cancel exploit, another way to animation cancel the SA-1216 cocking animation is just by hitting a melee as soon as you start cocking it. And of course, you can put pyramines on the ceiling, blow them up, and they will damage people in the floor above. And that was it for heavy. I really hope that this helps you guys, and if you have more tips, feel free to drop them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.